Republican Congressman Chris Stewart, a member of the House Intelligence Committee. Uh, this got really chippy today, as we say in, in hockey. What are the points of news, the headlines that you're, that you're seeing here? Well, it did get chippy, and it should be chippy. Oh, my gosh, can the FBI or DOJ make it any more frustrating? Can they make this any more longer and painful than they have? And it's completely unnecessary. So there's a number of lawmakers, myself included, who for a long time have been saying, look, we're not asking for something unreasonable here. We're asking for just pure accountability that we have responsibility to provide the American people. And yet, like I say, it's like a, a death by a thousand cuts to get uh, Mr. Rosenstein and, and unfortunately Mr. You know, Ray in some cases. You know, Congressman Stewart is, and, and you and I have talked about this before, but now it's full front and center. You've got Rosenstein, you've got Ray. I mean, you know, Ray is somebody the president supported. Why is it so difficult? I mean, not to pull politics into this, but just negotiating document releases and FISA yeah. applications. Why is it so yeah. hard? Well, I think at the end of the day, and this isn't very difficult, at the end of the day, it's because they are embarrassed by their activities. And in some cases, I think they're trying to obfuscate or to uh, at least make it very difficult for us what we what we believe is actually in some cases illegal activity and that's that's just the simple explanation but it's also the truth and let me give you a real quick example of that I mean just one example we had uh, some pr material provided to us a page and a half or so was redacted for issues of national security mm -hmm. and then when we finally get that information it's about paying seventy thousand dollars for a conference table it had nothing to do with national security it was just embarrassing to them that's one small example but it's not an important mm. example. The far more important examples are these meaningful questions about how they conducted their investigation, and yet they hide and they delay, and they it's kind of like hide the bunny. You know, we'll give you 880,000 pages of documents that the, Mr. Rosenstein mentioned today, when we really yeah. only want a few hundred, and they make us, you know, burr, burr our way through all of this other material, again, as a way to say, yeah, we've complied, but make it impossibly difficult for us. So there are a couple of things going on here, and I, you know, as we talk about what is at stake. You've got a political party that paid for opposition research with a company that had some interesting ties to important people at the DOJ, a wife of a member, yeah. so on and so forth. You've got an FBI, two agents with their hands all over a couple of investigations. One, the Hillary Clinton email investigation. Did she get special treatment because of what they were carrying out? And also their text messages going back and forth, showing us clearly that they had a plan to keep the president out of the White House. So yeah. as we watch this today, what do you want to see Ask, I mean, I know you're in House Intel, and you guys are perched watching the Judiciary Committee today. What are you watching for? Well, there's a couple things. One of them is, you know, that we've been told again and again and again that this inquiry into the Russian uh, supposed Trump collusion started at the end of July. And if that's true, then let us, and let us understand this. Did you run informants into the campaign previous to that? Because there's certainly indications that they did, and not just one, but perhaps several, maybe even many. And if you were doing that previous to July, on what basis were you doing that? Mm. Show us the evidence. Show us the concern that you had. And those, that's the thing that we're focusing on now, and that's very important. For one thing, does it show that they've been honest with us? And the second thing is, if everything they've told us up to this point isn't true, and they had information previous to that, once again, what was it, or was there any? But, you know, if I could just make this kind of general observation. We can't live in a country where we give the Department of Justice enormous power, and especially into something like an opposition political campaign, and say, go do what you want, send spies, eavesdrop, listen yeah. to messages, and, and read text, and then don't come tell us. We don't want to know. No one wants to live in a country like that, that you would give them that kind of power and no accountability, especially, like I said, into a, a, a political campaign, a presidential campaign. All we're asking is that they be honest with the American people. You know, I, I have to be honest, as we watch this and I see on social media, people don't understand, is this the way you get information? They see hearing after hearing, deposition after deposition, some are private, some are full-blown public like today. And the question is, will there ever be accountability? Congressman Stewart, Thank you for being with me Thank for this. You. We'll continue to bring you live uh, all of the action that happens on Capitol Hill today with that.